Hi, and welcome to Naturally Danny CEO. Are you thinking about trying a plant-based diet and wondering how to take the first step? Well, why not start with beans? Beans are an affordable source of protein and they are a superfood that makes you feel fuller faster. I recently went to central Indiana to find out how these nutrient powerhouses are produced from farm to fork. We really care about beans because they're a basic, simple food that are pure and purifying and rejuvenating to your health. No GMOs, it means no additives, no artificial flavorings, colors, or sugars. Eden Foods, one of our sponsors, is one of the oldest natural and organic food companies in North America. Their bean cannery produces 19 million cans every year, and they pride themselves on doing it the old-fashioned way. This is a big bushel of beans. Yes, we have 2,000 pounds of organic cannellini beans. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> so these beans are coming from Michigan farms, some of the best bean country in the United States. It's working directly with the growers so that we can know that we're bringing in quality organic food. In order to have a healthy food, we have to start with healthy soil. But they need certain nutrients, they need nitrogen, potassium, not synthetic fertilizers. I gotta feed myself like nutritious things the same way you gotta feed the fields nutritious things. Absolutely, so the beans are gonna be low in fat, high in fiber, high in protein. And you're gonna find a couple different essential amino acids. These are dense nutrition, healthy foods. Getting the beans from organic farm to finished product begins when the bean plants turn golden brown, signifying they are ready for harvest. Each pod contains one to six seeds. The seeds are separated from the pods, then transported to the factory. General Manager Terry Evans starts by preparing the beans for a soaking in purified water to improve digestibility and retain the natural flavor. Our very first step is to take this 2,000 pounds of organic cannellini beans and put it in the hopper. Well, you and I aren't going to do that, right? No, we're not going to do it. Dylan with the lift truck will be able to pick it up for us and put it in there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We pull the string, and all the cannellini beans will pour into the hopper. <laughs> the next step is I'm taking up the tank number one so we can add water for the hydration. All right, let's soak these beans. All right, come on in, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a stainless rake and rake them level so when we fill the water up, they're nice and leveled out and hydrate evenly instead of a big hole. And I'll let you try your hand at it. <laughs> How am I doing? You're doing a great job. This is a workout. We have a position for you if you'd like to come and work at the cannery. I'm good at eating. <laughs> I'm really good at eating. <laughs> then we can turn the water on to start its hydration. Oh, yeah. We basically do the same thing that Grandma did years ago. You gotta hydrate your beans overnight to keep the richness and the fullness of the flavor in the beans. So this takes a lot of time. It does. After the beans are hydrated, they come through the ripple plate where we're inspecting for any heavy core wow. material like a rock or something like that. Kind of like mining for gold. It's basically <laughs> yours. This is a bad one. That's the, the inspected beans are pumped into a wheel to remove the water with centrifugal force and eventually steam blanched at 180 degrees. This removes the oxygen. Then it's time for their secret special seasonings. We're just doing a water and kombu seasoning that we're putting into it. What's kombu? Dehydrated seaweed. It smells good. Yes, it does. But it doesn't add a lot of flavor, right? No, it doesn't. Okay. Or better for your digestive system. Good for your digestive yes, it is. system. I'm learning so much today. Let me show you how we fill the can. And we set this machine to our desired weight that we need for this size of can. Then it goes over to the cap with a put the lid on. Up to me. Baskets of sealed bean cans go into pressure cookers. Now, each cooker is capable of holding four baskets, and each basket will hold 225 cans each. That's a lot. There's a lot of more than like, grandmother did. More than grandmother could do. 
eggs, they cook for 35 minutes to 247 degrees. They gotta be cooled down to at least 120 degrees before I send them to labeling. Here's our labeling. The cans had come down. We yeah. used the BPA free, awesome. you know, BPS free. We started out in the late 90s. They run into the labeler here. This is your finished product. May I pick one out? Yes, you may. I love your passion. I love the story. And uh, more importantly, I love a good can of cannellini beans. <laughs> Thank you very much. The canned beans are ready for supermarket shelves, but I'm ready to taste the final product here in the factory with Brandon. Today we're making a five bean salad. Yum. Some that you saw today and some others that we make. Let's start with the cannellini beans. Give them a drain and a little wash. They really plump up. They're beautiful yeah. beans, yeah. And then if the pinto beans. Okay. We're Perfect. gonna do the aduki beans next. I've never heard of an aduki bean. May I try those? Absolutely. They're similar to what you might find in, in red beans and rice in the south. Yeah. But they're Great a little beans. bit sweeter. Garbanzo beans. And then we have black soybeans. They have a nice little savory element to them. Okay, great. It's one bowl, which I really like. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and get some vegetables in. We're gonna start with some green peppers. Okay. And then we can go ahead and put in our green onion, some red radishes. A little peppery crunch. Now we have some cucumber. This is all organic, right? Absolutely. And then we have some nice fresh parsley here. This is really gonna lift up the, I love that parsley. earthiness. Put in the celery, let's get that in there. All right. The last thing we have is we're gonna add a dressing to the salad. Starts with some olive oil, some red wine vinegar. Easy. And then we have some shoyu in here, so soy sauce, but wheat-based soy sauce is shoyu. And then as a sweetener, we just use some organic barley malt. It's an organic maple syrup as well. Nice combination of fat, tartness, mm -hmm. sweetener. This is it. Is it time to eat? Here's your Thank bowl. you. Wow, I really like this. Yeah, it's really fresh, really bright. It's really simple too. I feel like I'm doing something good for myself. It's got all that protein, the fiber. Yeah. It's crunchy, it's creamy. I like that dressing a lot. Brandon, thank you so much for showing me how a simple bean can become part of a really balanced and healthy diet. It's all right in here. <laughs>